Hey guys and welcome to the latest episode of the save Final one of the season um, Although I've got a bit of way to go till the end of the season um, But you're asking the question did you make the final? Well after a 3-1 win at Lowestoft Thanks to Stead, Nolan and an own goal We uh, we did. We fought back and we won 6 2 in the second leg. Uh, a certain own goal for them. Um, but Davison with 2, 1 for Nolan, and a hat trick for Stead. So, yeah, we're through to the final. And we've gone unbeaten since making the final. Uh, 1 all at Matlock, thanks to Nolan. 2 uh, 1 at Flyd. Filed, sorry, thanks to uh, Davison and Nolan. Uh, two one at Solihull Moors, thanks to Oakley and Nolan. Uh, three goals to one against Spalding, two for Stead, uh, one for Nolan. And the last time out, we thumped Holchinger four nil. Johnson, Stead, Nolan, and Demont Um Sorry, guys, my dog being a bit of a downstairs so we've got Bristol Rovers massive massive task I can't see us doing this at all um, they're doing well they're a big team in this save in lower leagues um, Neil Hardley's in charge there they're in the Skrill Premier the fifth at the minute but um, they are a very good team um, so it's going to be difficult for us to uh, to get anywhere Chester by the way they are Look at that, 11 points off the playoffs. Jesus, that's madness. 11 points behind Bristol Rovers, they are. So there you go. There's been a few um, outgoings, I think. Let me just double check. There's only a couple um, since the last video. Um, Lee Bacon, sorry, that's it. I, I knew I'd release somebody. Lee Bacon's gone. Um, he wasn't getting in the team, it wasn't fair on him. Stu Lock hasn't found a club yet. Connor Jackson is now at Solihull Moors. So um, he's found himself a team. Nobody else has come in. Um, I have promoted though to the first team. Uh, Kyriakos. Ch <laughs> Choice Dostamo. I need to give him a nickname. I need to give him a nickname. So I'll think of a nickname. Bisungu's in contract talks with Kettering at the moment from the Southern Premier League. He struggled to get games this season and he's too good to leave out of the team. So, you know, we're, we're going to... If if he wants to go, we can go. So, we're going to play this game. Then I'm going to pause it, go to the fire, go to the final day and we'll, we'll do the final day video there. I just wanted to, um, you know, to, to give you guys a bit more of an insight. So I'm going to put you on the bench for him because you've played more this season. Taylor's back, that's good to know. It said he was injured. It said, didn't it say on the thing that he was injured? Yeah, doubtful. Oh, he's doubtful. He was doubtful. He's 100%. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and Borg. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, um, let's get. Oh no! Uh, so you're in. Yeah, that's fine. Demand the tap. I see. Yeah, that's that's. I'm pretty happy with that. I'd say that's our strongest lineup. So here we go. Second appearance at Wembley. Never lost in a cup final. That will change. That I cannot see us in a million years. Beating Bristol Rovers at Wembley, can't just can't see it happening. Is that the Steve Foster former crew? No, it's Shaheen Foster. <laughs> I think it might have been Steve and Foster, the former crew guy and Barnsley guy. Right, let's do this. Let's do it. Passionately. Go out there and give the fans something to cheer for. And I tell you what, as it's final, cup final day, 
Let's put the highlights on for the goals. Nolan! Go! Oh, 30 seconds! That has not done my back any good, that hasn't. Oh, 30 seconds! Get in! Russell Nolan, look at that smile, look at that smile on his little face. Oh, he's chuffed to bits for that. And I've decided uh, when we go up, if we go up, uh, we're going to have a new kit for the Blue Square, uh, for the Skrill Premier Division season. Oh, wait up. That's a new angle. <laughs> Look at that. Rounds the keeper. Bang. Have it. Happy with that. Fantastic start. Oakley clears. Here comes Klaus. Bayern. Oh, Hughes goal. Equaliser. Six minutes in. 1-1. One, one. Dave Hughes with the equaliser for Bristol Rovers. Poor defending, really. Look at that. Hughes just barges him out of the way. Oh, poor from Pidgeley. He was sort of running out to it as he hit it. So he he was sort of knocked off. That was disappointing, that was. But never mind. Never mind. You know, their favourites. Can't get it out. Go on, Nolan. Taylor. Oh, beautiful ball to Nolan. Send it over. Oh. Well done, Johnson. Oh, but they've come back at us again here. Danny, is that Danny Hilton? I wonder. Oh, I've them all day. Come on, boys. We can do this. We can. Come on. We can play better than this. Well, we were playing well anyway, to be fair. But we need to defend better. I mean, this is the standard of the team we could be playing next season, so. Oh, acres of space again. I'm very poor defending there. Good job he cocked up his finish. Turton's not having a good game at left back at all. He's getting beaten every time. The goal scorer, but yeah, it is Danny Hilton. Well, instead. Oh, don't go backwards. <laughs> Come on, Davison. Oh, nearly said that. Oh, well done, Wilkinson. Davison. Oh, dear. There's a goal coming from this for them. Told you. 2-1. Two, two, Byrne with a goal. Bayern, even. Rob Bayern with a goal. Could have put in a tackle there on the edge of the area. That's them two on up now. I can't see us. Uh, I can't see us turning this round. Unlucky, then unlucky, assertively. Show me something else in the second half, you swines. Right. I can't really. Oh, oh, there, I've done it. <laughs> I didn't really want to take Taylor off because he's such a good player for us, but Demontagnac uh, gives us a little something else going forwards. John Stead's been non existent in this game as well. But Nolan can come off. <laughs> no sense in that, I know. And Alec Taylor can come off for Chamberlain. Both centre backs have been booked now, that's not very good. Let's go overload. And give us shoot on sight. Not oh, no, yeah. Well that'll do right defence, shoot on sight. It's not going to make any difference now, not with four minutes plus stoppage time to go. Bond and Gala, been booked for them. And that's it. They've won it. Bristol Rovers win the FA Trophy. Ah, oh, well. 
they they play they, we played well we just we just didn't we just didn't defend brilliantly on the day but we finished with the top goal scorer in the competition we've made the final home win mm. <laughs> since when did Bristol City play at Wembley <laughs> well 25,000 turned up to see us probably mostly Bristol Rovers fans to be fair but never mind eh it's not the end of the world we got 23 grand from it so you know never mind well I see him clear have still not won this competition after today you must surely wonder if the team can ever win it it's a bit harsh knobheads <laughs> but what I'll do now is guys I'll play out the rest of the season and then you'll join me for the final game of the season and uh, we'll see where we are in the league it might not be the final game of the season we might have some playoff games to go but we'll soon find out so here we are guys final day of the season um, after the FA Trophy 2-1 defeat to Bristol Rovers we lost 2-1 to at home to Stockport Turton with our consolation goal another injury picked up by Stuart Taylor uh, a 0-0 draw with Boston um, away then a 1-0 win against Barrow so that's to Liam Davison a 0-0 draw at Harrogate and then last time out a 2-0 win so that's to Russell Nolan at Southport this means Sorry, I was looking at. Uh, so I'll show you in a minute what I was looking at. We have won the Blue Square North, so we haven't won a, a, a cup this year, but we won the league. Uh, finished with 93. Well, after the next game, it could be 94, or 96, or 93. But at the minute, we've got 93 points, 83 scored, 31 conceded, four defeats, nine draws, and 28 wins. Stats wise, uh, for the players, John Stead is the highest average rating with Russell Nolan third games one goes to Stead Johnson Turton Davison and Martin top of the assists John Stead with 19 Nolan with 13 in second place joint fourth Davison with 12 goals wise Nolan is the top scorer with Stead in second appearances Roger Johnson is joint fourth player of the match John Stead is top with joint second Nolan uh, with nobody in the yellow cards, nobody in the red cards. Distance covered. Fourth place is John Stead with 393.4 kilometres. So, kilometres. So, we've done well this season. We've had a fantastic season. Um, uh, transfer wise, nobody else has come in. Uh, we've had the intake of youngsters. Dan Bisungu has left on a free because he, he was unhappy he wasn't getting games I released him just for transfer deadline day but he couldn't sort anything out youngsters that have come in this kid is the king of the crop look at that fantastic ratings um, he could go on to be a Sky Bet League 1 player in the future and he hasn't played for us yet due to uh, a few knocks he'd picked up in the candidates match versus the under 18s but Tranmere want him already so he's going to get his debut today finance wise we've got 1.4 at the minute we're expected to reach 2.1 by the end of the season which would be a fantastic achievement so we've got Halifax um, now who are second so it's top the second we've already claimed the title so um, you know it's not as I, I thought one point was going to go right down to the final day but we pulled away from them in the end uh, despite a few defeats you know we've we've they've when well, we've dropped points they've dropped points so um, you know we've been lucky in that respect so we are on our way now to the Shea um, to play out the final game of the season I'm going to do the usual. I'm going to give the um, almost second string a bit of a run out today. Um, I want to say they're fully the second string, but 
you know what I mean. In fact, let's remove you from the squad. Let's have a look at some of these new kids that have come in because there was a couple of them that look very decent. You're one, I believe. You're, yeah, you're off. You'll do for left back. And what have we got central wise? We don't seem to get many or hardly any cent just central defenders I've noticed Lawrence Derry you're right back you could be decent in the future William Milner no you're not I don't think you'll make anything uh, Liam Cork no not really can't go back um, who else we got? Aaron Eldridge. You're, you're more of a right back. You see, we don't have anybody who's naturally central minded, really, apart from Nick Eastwood, but he's out on loan at Grantham, so he won't be having a game today. Uh, Tommy McKenna. You're more of a central midfielder, but I'm going to give you a game today because they keep banging on at me about changing his status to um, first team player oh he's a central you're not brilliant but we'll give you a game young Ross Ross Crawford or Sam Dixon like you're central as well you're not brilliant but you can get a game as well ok Neil Thorpe you're back from your loan spell so you can go in um, who was the guy? Oh, he's injured. I was going to give Emmanuel Harris a run out, but he's picked up a knock. So um, that'll do from the youngsters. And the under 21s is Tierney and Fox. They've had the crack of the whip this season. Um, on the left side, Atwood can go in. On the right side, we'll give Bastock a game. Uh, and then up front. We'll go Wiley and we'll go Burgess. And then on the bench, we'll go Wallace, Johnson, Im, <laughs> uh, Taylor, and oh, Stead. Okay. Actually, now I'm, I'm going to take Wallace off the bench and I'm going to put. Davison on the bench so that's the team we're going to go with for today a bit of a weakened side in a, in, in a degree but you know me the final day of the season is always the opportunity to give the kids a run out they're away from home so expectations a bit lower against a very good Halifax side with Doris De Vries in goal for them that's madness uh, so yeah so I think Actually, yeah, we have an entire first 11 of youth players, academy players. Uh, the bench isn't all academy. There's two on the bench from the academy. So, champions versus second place. I expect them to pick up where they left off. None of them have played before. So, um, here we go. I've got the highlights on still. I've left them on. So uh, here they come, Doyle 1-0, three minutes in, we're a goal behind. Uh-oh, <laughs> poor defending, let them in at the back. I'm not impressed with that defending at all, only a second goal of the season as well, bloody typical. I'm not impressed with the defensive movements there at all. Bit of lag, O'Connor, oh look at that, that is terrible defending. Absolutely terrible. But oh, never mind. Not the end of the world. Bastock's looking anxious. Firing to him with a kick. What the? Nobody. Oh, poor. Bird for two. Yeah, two nil. It's the defender. It's the kids at the in the central defensive roles that are struggling, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Never even challenged him. Oh, well, this gives us an indication of what we've got to work with. 
and it's not looking good. Oh my god! That was just fucking ridiculous. It's not like Bastot to make an error like that. I think he was more trying to play it to that defender and then the keeper had no choice but to come out. Halifax are ripping us apart now. Right. Forrington's looking anxious, I'm not surprised. Right, Dixon's coming off at half time because he's having an absolute mare. Dixon's coming off and Bastock's coming off at half time. Welcome to the real welcome to the real world boys. You are getting Rollickins. Johnson can come on. Davison can come on. See how we get on with those in the team. Davison, McKenna, back to Davison, McKenna, Chamberlain, Wiley, oh good save, good save. Davison swings one in, oh Crawford just wide, just wide. Playing for pride more than anything else now. Davison, oh, come on, back to Davison, sends it in, bit of a juggle with Davison, oh, is it the Woolwork Johnson, <laughs> oh, it's cleared, Nat Woods couldn't get it under control, oh, that was unlucky, putting a bit of pressure on now though, I'm going to bring Burgess off, and swap, no, actually I'll keep you there, and I'm going to bring John, no, we'll swap you and you around, And uh, see how we get on now that Stead's on. See if we can't get at least a goal. Be nice to get one at least. I can't see that happening. The urgency of tackling isn't there, is it, at all? Oh, that's poor defending and poor goalkeeping there. Hat trick for Doyle. 4 0 defeat. Could be more. We could have had a couple of goals though. Our attacking play has been much better in the second half. But uh, poor. Poor defending and poor goal. It's Roger Johnson there, so you can't blame age on that. Poor defending, poor goalkeeping. It's just been a poor performance. But never mind. It's not the end of the world. And it's just a little tester to see uh, how they do. Thoughts been booked now. Just a little tester to see how they get on. The young lads, and they've been thoroughly outplayed. Fair play to Halifax. They're second for a reason. Wasn't the best opposition to put the lads up against. But uh, they're going to get a rollick in. All the same. They've got to step up if they want to play for us. But uh, never mind. It's not the end of the world. I'm not really massively bothered <laughs> we were champions after all and we have gone up to the Skrill Premier League so next step now we're one step away from the Football League one step one promotion away from the Football League so what I thought I'd do now now that the season's out of the way and done with I thought we'd have a look and see God, he's been on a gold drop as well. Ten hours. See where some of the old players are. You know, it's been a while since we've done it. Um, da -da, best 11. Not the overall. Where are they now? Thank you. So, let's have a look at some of these. Three members of the team are now retired. The rest continue to be involved in football. Selby's still at Crew. He's played three games, conceded four goals for them this season. I, don't, I think they got relegated. I might be wrong. Oh no, they're state. They're all, no, it's, yeah, they're safe. They're safe this season. So that's good. Pleased. 
<laughs> Kenny Jackett's still in charge there. So Selby, he's, he, I mean, look at his stats now. Brilliant. He was brilliant for us and uh, really pleased he's moved on and done well. Clayton DeVito still at Dartford. Uh, he's got 5 and 43 this season. So uh, he's been doing well. well. Unless they've gone down or unless they release him or sell him. We'll be up against him this season. Yep, they finished tenth last season, so we'll be seeing him next season. As long as he's still there, of course. Simon Weaver is at FC United of Manchester, the giant Simon Weaver. Uh, why have my preferences changed again? Sorry guys, let me just um, let me just sort the preferences out and I'll be back with you. Sorry about that, I was sort my preferences out. There we are. Fifteen stone six foot six of him. Big lad, big player for us. He, um, he went to Braintree in the Blue Square Premier League and then ended up at Braintree Reserves in the Eastern Counties Division 1. And he's been loaned out to FC United of Manchester this season. So um, yeah, he's done well there. Got six goals for us in our first season. Um, played at Boston, Tamworth, Braintree. He's done well in his career, really, um, for, the, you know, for the sort of player that he is. Saheed Sanko's at Tamworth. He's transfer listed. You see, he's 30 now as well. Um, he had a couple of seasons with us. He got eight goals in his first season. Didn't get any in the second. Went to uh, Mangotsfield. And then, um, you know, he hasn't really set the world on fire since. Played in the Blue Square North this season, briefly. Mitchell Piggins now at Tunbridge Angels. Jesus, how he's falling. He's only played one game for them as well. Um, he left us for having more to lose villains. Uh, the oh, he hasn't. I thought they, of course, they're not. I keep thinking they're lower down than us, but they're not the same level as us, really. So, yeah, he got 14 goals for us in the first season. Uh, sorry, second season after eight in the first. Moved to Haven, didn't score his first season, got three in the second, then moved to Dulwich and Hamlet, and now he's at Tombridge. So, I don't know how long he'll be there for. Um, what else have we got? Uh, Ross Hardiker, he's at Radcliffe Borough. Got one in eleven this season. He left us after the uh, first season. Went to Hillingdon, um, then to Stratford, then to Chipstead, then to Romford, and played in one game in the Screw North, and then moved to the Northern Premier Division with Radcliffe Borough. Um, Carvel Coos at Burskoff. He's got three in thirty-eight this season. He's thirty now. And he got seven goals last season for him after joining Marine uh, from us after a couple of seasons there. With us. Uh, Dave Pearce turns out for Evesham United. His claim to fame is he finished the top goal scorer in the FA Cup. Um, was it that? What season was it? That season, uh, the 2015 16 season, with seven goals, he finished top goal scorer in the FA Cup. <laughs> What a ledge. Uh, Reese Little John's at Tilbury. He's got nine goals for them. Uh, never really hit the heights for us that we'd have hoped for. Um, they went to Hayes and he's been at Tilbury after leaving them. Um, got eight goals last season. Uh, Jay Hogg turns out for Blackwood. The lead below us. Um, he's a young goalkeeper. Uh, he left us after two seasons. Um, he played well for us in a few games to be fair that he played and uh, he's at Blackwood now been there ever since leaving uh, Matt Firth is at Thatcham Town he was only with us the first season but um, he went to Launceston then to Mildenhall and he's been at Thatcham since so those are the best 11 and where are they now? So let's have a. Is that the first season? Where's Kelly? Is he still playing? He retired after leaving us. Um, Cravel Cousine. Jimmy Smith at uh, Broadbridge Heath. 30 odd games for them this season. He's been there since he left us. So uh, he's had a good, you know, he's been a law servant for them. Uh, Hardy Christine, Dave Verity's retired, I believe. Oh no, 
38 still playing at Holmesdale. Look at that. What a ledge. He left us and went to Tring in the second season. So he's had a good uh, good turnout. We've seen all of those. Barry Fitzgerald. He's at Wantage. He's been there since he left us. So he's had a decent career. Al Alton Reynolds has uh, retired. He left us, went to Hillingdon where he played 38 games. Then he went to Horsham YMCA where he ended his career. So that's those guys. Uh, Garung, I think he's at, yeah, he's retired now. Oh, that's a shame. He's retired after his uh, ventures at Mangotsfield. Huh? They've only. What's that all about then? It's only give. It's only done two. That sucks. Oh well. Anyway, those are some of those. Um, so yeah, that's that's it for this season, guys. Confidence-wise, we're good. Um, fan player reaction confidence. They've got quite good in those. Um, really pleased with oh, my job status is untouchable at the minute. That might change next season. Um, club information wise. Um, where are we? Icons is me. Favourite personnel Bisungu, Stead, Gurung, and Oakley. Um, so that hasn't really changed much. I hope Bisungu gets a club. I really do. I hope somebody picks him up. Anyway, guys, I'm going to ho hoop off. That's uh, me trying to say hop off and shoot off all at once. I'm going to hop and shoot off right now, prepare for next season, and we will see you at the beginning of the Squirrel Premier League season. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I do really appreciate those who stuck around and all the new people. Thanks for joining. Cheers. Bye.